What's up YouTube, Cliff here from the Sunday Drive. Today we're gonna to show you how to go from this to this. So we're in front of my mom's 2019 Traverse and we're gonna be showing you how to swap out both your front and rear Chevy Bowtie emblems. As you can see, we're swapping out to these nice black ones and we'll have them linked in the description of this video along with the part numbers for those. Now there's not a lot of tools that you need for this, but there are a few. One of them is some fishing line, you're also going to want to have some 70% isopropyl alcohol. Now you don't want to use 90% as that can actually damage the finish of your paint. So try to use 70%. Some Goo Gone to remove adhesive on the rear bow tie. A flat headed screwdriver, microfiber towel, masking tape, and lastly, a seven millimeter drill bit or socket. You can either use it on a drill or a driver. So let's get started. First, we're gonna remove this top valance. It's held in by a whole bunch of these push pins. You can remove these using a flat headed screwdriver. Just stick it in the top here and twist and the pop, top part will pop off and then you can pull the rest out. So again, just put your screwdriver in, twist and pull it out. I've already popped the tops off the remaining clips. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those quickly and remove the top valance. With that top valance removed, there are six screws along the top of your grill. Go ahead and remove those with your seven millimeter socket. Now you can pull the top part of your grill forward a little bit, enough so that you can get a screwdriver or your hand down behind the bow tie and release the clips. If you look at the back of your new bow tie, there are clips on either end as well as one at the top and bottom. Now we're gonna take a screwdriver and go behind the grill and reach down and release those clips one at a time. I'm gonna start on the driver side. With that clip released, I can go ahead and pull this out a little bit. Now I'm gonna move over to the passenger side. With that clip released, I can now pull that side out and now both ends are loose. Now we're gonna pop out the bottom clip and lastly, we're gonna pop out the top clip. And this is kind of the hardest one to get to, but it's still not too bad. And there you go. That's the top bow tie removed. When you go to put in your new bow tie, there is an arrow that points to the, towards the top. Then you can go ahead and just pop in your new bow tie. Go ahead and reinstall the six screws. Just be careful when you're putting those back in that you don't over tighten it and break the clips that they hold in place. This top balance is actually the air intake system for your vehicle. So if you flip this over and look at the back, there's actually all of these kind of almost like gills that suck the air in and then feed it along the channel. And then it goes down into your intake system over here on the left side or passenger side of the vehicle. That's the front done, let's go to the back. Now removing the rear bow tie is a little bit easier because we don't need to remove any body panels to get to it. However, there is some adhesive tape on the back of this bow tie that we do need to remove. Now the Traverse has been sitting out in the sun for a while, so this is nice and warm. However, if you're working and it's a little bit colder out or maybe it's sitting in your garage, you may wanna take a heat gun to this. However, you wanna be careful when applying any heat that you don't get it too hot or you damage any of the surrounding surfaces or paint. Looking at the back of the new bow tie, you can see that again, there is an up arrow so that we know which direction to apply the bow tie in. It also has two prongs that stick off the back so that this will help you align it in place. There's also pre-installed double-sided tape so that this will go right on there. You don't have to worry about cutting or fitting anything. I'm gonna take some Goo Gone and apply this to the back of the bow tie. Just let it sit on there for a few minutes so that it can start to loosen up the adhesive at the back. This plus some heat should make this bow tie come right off. While you're applying it, you may wanna hold a towel underneath just to prevent it from dripping all over your vehicle. With the Goo Gone sitting on there, I'm going to wipe off the surrounding areas and apply some masking tape just to prevent any of the surface area from becoming scratched. This will also help guide the new bow tie in place. Now you may want to use some fishing line at this point to remove the bow tie. 
you can just put it behind the bow tie and basically work it from one side to the other side while applying outward pressure. However, because this is heated up nicely and I had it soaking in goo gone, I should be able to pull this right off with my fingers. And there you go, you can see that just came off super easy because I had the goo gone soaking on there and it was nice and warm. So definitely prepping it right will just make this job a lot easier. Now I'm gonna go ahead and keep applying some goo gone to remove the remaining adhesive material. If you have a nylon scraper tool, you could use that because that shouldn't damage the surface. Um, the good thing is, even if you scratch part of it, this will be completely covered. Just make sure that you don't go beyond where the masking tape is and have any uh, scratches that will be visible. With all of the material removed, you can go ahead and take the rubbing alcohol and fully clean up the surface area. Just make sure you're getting any of the goo gone completely removed because that will prevent the new bow tie from adhering properly. Now if you look at the holes right here, you can see that one of them is exact so that this prong is going to precisely line up the bow tie. The other is more oblong in shape so you have a little bit of flexibility in align aligning the bow tie. Uh, up or down. So having the masking tape on here at this point uh, just really helps make sure that you get the bow tie precisely aligned. Once you have it loosely set on there, go ahead and remove the surrounding masking tape. Then go ahead and press the bow tie into place and hold it firmly for 30 to 60 seconds. That's it guys, that's how you install the front and rear bow ties on a Chevy Traverse. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stick around for a lot more videos on this Traverse. And we will see you guys back here next time. Have a good one.